This is a quick look at this free program called Eraser. Uh, this is the standalone version I have here, it's 5.8.8. .8. There is a newer version, 6, um, but that requires installation. I prefer standalone programs because they don't affect any part of your, your hard drive. You can just run them from a folder. So I'm just going to open this up. Um, I'm going to show you how it works very quickly and then I'll explain in a bit more detail after. So here's a file. I don't want this to be recovered uh, by anything, so I'm going to chuck it in there. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to say uh, task run and it's going to warn me it's going to erase it and you'll never be able to recover it. So I'll say yes. And that's it. That file is now gone. It will never be recovered. It's out of there. So um, what that basically did was the file was taken up a part of the hard drive. Normally when you chuck a file in the bin or the wastebasket, whatever you want to call it, and you empty it, the file isn't actually deleted, it's just sort of the hard drive is told to ignore that area of the hard drive. So when you then save another file, it may overwrite that area of the hard drive. Um, and until another file does overwrite that area of the hard drive, that file is actually, you can recover that, it can be undeleted as such. Even if it's been sort of uh, wiped over the same area of the hard drive, apparently you can still there are methods that can sort of recover that data. Hard drives work with magnets, uh, as far as I know, and um, by sort of overwriting the same area of the hard drive, you can, you're going to make it very hard for any sort of tool or program to recover any data. And that's what this program does. In the options here, just going preferences rather, into erasing, we've got some options. Um, this, that file that I just deleted using the Gutman method, and that's using 35 passes, so it's going over the hard drive, that area where that file was, 35 times. And the description there, that's the type of uh, data that is laying down over that area. So it's not just zeroing out the hard drive, because it's sort of binary data. It's probably filling it in with all sorts of gibberish, just to make it even harder for something to recover it. And these are other methods. I think this is like US government, and this will do seven passes. This is another one that does three passes, and so on and so on. Um, so this is just the preference, so it, the default is 35, which means if you've got a very big file and you securely erase that, it could take a very long time because it's going to be going over that same part of the hard drive 35 times and most likely putting down some sort of gibberish. Um, I've also got an option here for the preferences for the unused disk space because you can, the files that you previously deleted off your hard drive technically are still recoverable. But if you then ran this unused disk space um, sort of option, then all that, all that sort of, all those parts of your hard drive where there shouldn't be any data, there'll be none at all. It will completely obliterate it. So you couldn't then use uh, a tool to recover anything. So obviously, only do that if you certainly don't ever want to recover anything you've deleted. So <clears throat> the default there is just one pass of a load of random data which in most cases is fine. It had to be hard to recover with um, software alone, although um, there are methods. And uh, beyond software, there's also all sorts of microscopic tools and things to recover data, but unless you've got really secure data or really secretive data, it doesn't matter so much. But if you come to sell your hard drive, um, you probably don't want anyone to recover any of the data off it, even if it's just family photos or anything like that. Um, it's a good idea to securely erase the whole drive. Um, and I've actually used this on drives that I've sold in the past, and I hope it did a good job. So um, there are the options there. I mean, you might want to change that to say seven. I think I did seven passes just to be absolutely sure. And to do that, you just go file, uh, new task, and then you can see here we've got unused disk space, and it'll go through the drive. Obviously, if it was a completely blank drive, then the unused disk space would be the whole drive, so it will go through the whole lot there. And when it's done, you can set it to restart, shut down, or sleep, because it does take quite a long time. Um, there's plenty of waffle for you there to be <laughs> uh, thinking about, but it's a good tool. It's completely free. Um, I'd recommend a standalone version so you don't have to have anything running in the background the whole time. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, if this video is useful, please like or subscribe. Thank you.